Friends, good afternoon. Myself, Dr. Shahbaz Sen Nakhvi. I am working as associate professor in Dr. Zakir Sen Library, Jamia Millia Islamia. Today, I will be discussing about different physical forms of library catalog, the conventional forms. In my lecture today, I will discuss about different physical forms of a library catalog, points to consider while choosing physical form of a library catalog, and compare their relative advantages and disadvantages. You must be knowing a library catalog is an indispensable tool of a library. Through it, a user get information about the required document available in a library about a given topic by a given author on a given subject. So definitely it needs much attention and the modern librarians have given much importance to the physical forms so that readers can search their documents easily and this has greatly influenced in its shape which has led to the adoption of various physical forms. When we talk about forms of a library catalog, it has two aspects. One is the physical or outer form of the catalog that relates to its external shape, size and appearance. And not only this shape, size and appearance is related to the physical form, but the stationery to be used for recording entries of the documents and furniture or equipment to stock the stationery and bibliographical entries of documents of a library are in physical forms. The second one is the arrangement of bibliographic information in a helpful sequence to retrieve information about documents in the library. Each of these forms has a bearing on the other, such as the age of use, physical shape, size and space requirement, cost of physical production, maintenance, etc. have always influenced cataloging over the years. Similarly, the preparation of different kinds of entries, provision of cross references and similar other user oriented requirements of a library catalog have also influenced the choice of a particular physical form of a catalog in libraries. Different physical forms of a library catalog have developed over a period of time by libraries such as bound register form, printed book form, sheaf form, card form and modern forms like visible index form, micro form and machine readable form such as OPEX. These forms were developed keeping in view of the requirement of the users, type of the material published and methods of providing services in the libraries at that time. Therefore, as the time changes, these older forms like bound register, sheaf, catalog became obsolete, except the card catalog which is still used to some extent in the world, though they, it will be outdated soon as the catalogs are now available in electronic form. While considering the choice of physical form of a catalog, the librarian should keep following requirements in mind. It should be able to keep it up to, up to date and to bring together different entries should be possible in the catalog. It should be accessible to different users. Portati portability of a library catalog should be there. It should be handle, easy to handle and consult it. It should be economical to produce and maintain it. The size should be compact so that it can take less space. Reproduction of catalog card should be easy and especially the fast speed of searching a document should be one in which one should be able to insert or withdraw entries easily as and when required. 
because library is a growing organism and we have to purchase books and it is very essential to include the new information in it. So, flexibility of a physical form should be there in choosing the physical form of a catalog. And to bring like to, uh, entries together that is the entries by same author and same subject can be searched by users at a time. It is also essential that it should be easy to use and should be possible to consult in, inside or outside a library without any difficulty. And it should be economical to produce and maintain it because libraries are nowadays facing budget crunch. And it should be easy to make number of copies so that it can be placed at multiple points. The size should be compact so that it does not occupy much space. And it should also provide multiple access points and therefore save the time of the readers so that at a time more number of readers can use the catalog. The physical forms of library catalogs can be broadly divided into two groups conventional forms or traditional forms and non-conventional or modern forms. In my today's lecture, I will be covering only the conventional forms of library catalog. The conventional physical forms of library catalog can further be subdivided into following forms. Bound register or ledger form, printed book form, sheaf or loose leaf form and card form. These forms are famous conventional physical forms of a library catalog. Now, I will be discussing these forms with reference to their features, their relative advantages and disadvantages one by one. First, I will cover the bound register or ledger form. In this form of library catalog, the entries of documents of a library are written by hand in a bound register or ledger. Few pages of a ledger or register are set apart for different letters of the alphabets. The information about each document like author, edition, accession number, number of copies and class number is provided and separate registers for author, title and subject can also be prepared. It is also possible to provide Xerox copies of the catalog at different locations in the libraries thereby facilitating the readers to consult the catalog in any corner of the library so that at a time more number of readers can use it because it has the quality of portability. Then there are several advantages added attached to the bound register form. First one is the ease with which readers can use this catalog is unquestionable. It is very easy to consult it just like a book or register. Xerox copies of the catalog are used at different places at different locations in the libraries facilitating the readers to consult the catalog in any corner of the library. And in this way a number of users can search it at a time and it is the quality of portability. This saves the time of the reader. Another advantage is that several entries are provided on a single page at a time. Therefore, there is no need of turning one page to another or one card after another which saves the time of the reader again. In case of a card catalog, there is a chances that it may be skipped up while consulting hurriedly. Another advantage of book form is neither much space is required nor special equipment is required to its, for its display and it is also a compact catalog. Since the readers are in the habit of reading and consulting the books from childhood, they feel it much more convenient psychologically to consult being like a book. It is also cheaper to produce it. It is simple and easy to handle or consult. Many entries are available on one page and there are some disadvantages also related to the book or ledger form. First one is it is not flexible, which means it is not possible to add new entries in it at its desired location or remove the entries which the books have been withdrawn. You cannot insert at their proper places the new information as the left out space is filled shortly. Therefore, it is not possible to keep it up to date. 
when the register gets constant handling, it gets torn and mutilated and it is required to make a new register. Provision of cross reference is also difficult in such type of catalog. It does not possess the quality of flexibility. As I have already told you, they are, it is not possible to fill in the information in their appropriate places. Hence, you have to add the new information at the end of the register or a supplementary catalog is to be prepared, which is a time consuming, cost consuming process. Since addition of books is an inherent feature of a library, this catalog is unable to keep good company as one is fast and other is slow. And, and because of this feature, it cannot be kept up to date. The quality of paper is not thick as the card catalog, hence its durability is less and cannot withstand constant use by the readers. In case of stolen, damaged, torn out, mutilated and outdated books are to be discarded, then immediately the relevant entries are to be deleted from the catalog, which looks confusing and indecent. There is another version of this catalog, which is known as typed cyclostyled form. It came into existence after the invention of typewriter and cyclostyling machine. Now the entries are typed or cyclostyled and you can make number of copies from the typewriter also. However, the few disadvantages related to the bound register form just like the flexibility remains same. Insertion of new information was not possible. Another uh, form of physical form of catalog is printed book form. This came into existence after the printing machine's invention. The printed book form of library catalog is one of its typical forms. These types of library catalogs are prepared by conforming to all the standard principles and rules of cataloging with cross references and provision of multiple entries. Now it is possible to make multiple copies of this catalog very easily and on demand and at economical cost which can be sold to the readers. The readers can consult the catalog at home and at their comfortable places. Some of the big libraries like British Library, the Library of Congress, National Library of Kolkata, Glasgow and Liverpool catalogs etc. were available in printed book form also. Some of the advantages related to this form are the catalog can be brought out in multiple copies in desired numbers and can be priced and sold. Library users can refer to the catalog at their leisure and their home or workplace and they do not need to come to the library just to find out whether the library has a particular book of their choice or not. It is very easier to consult a book catalog as there are many entries in one page and there is no need to scan different pages. It also does not occupy much space and it is easy to handle it. The catalogs can be issued subject wise, title wise and author wise thereby catering to different approaches of different users. Since this type is a traditional type, book pupils are already familiar with this and hence it creates less psychological barrier to the readers. It is easy to handle since it is just like a conventional type of a book users can use it easily. It is economical to produce it because printing is much cheaper than typing or cyclostyling it. Portability, number of copies can be printed and distributed and users can use or scan them at their convenient place. Since this type of catalog has number of entries at one page, it has a large span of vision. Missing pages, if there is any missing of missing pages, it can be easily detected and rectified because every page is numbered serially. This is not possible in card catalog. This catalog is also used as a book selection tool. Since this type of catalog is portable, it gives more publicity to the library as it is, you can take it outside the library. However, there are different disadvantages related to this catalog also. It is costly to bring out printed catalog. It takes more time to prepare the press copy. It becomes outdated by the time it is out of press. 
because preparing a print ready, ready copy for the press takes a considerable amount of time and effort and the items acquired for the library during this period cannot be included in the catalog resulting in numerous supplements and consulting all these supplements is tedious and time consuming for users at a given point of time the catalog cannot indicate the complete collection it is not flexible as insertion of entries for new books or deletion of entries for lost books is not possible in it also it is necessary to have qualified staff with the knowledge of cataloging and printing process to produce this type of catalog up to dateness is not possible in it because you are not able to add or delete information at the required place and to find a particular entry sometimes one has to scan number of pages and it is consumes time especially weeding out of books when is not possible in it because you cannot delete or delete information from it even the libraries want to bring out a new catalog its production is laborious and costly too much of editorial work is involved with the result many staff members are to be appointed in this project only this is true if the library is very big then comes the next form of catalog which is known as sheaf or loose leaf form sheaf form of library catalog is also referred to as loose leaf form a sheaf form of catalog is one in which slips of paper are put into a loose leaf binder and bound by some mechanical device into a volume this is a loose leaf binder format which provides the convenience of handling a book in the sheaf form each entry is made on a separate slip but sometimes there may be more than one entry on each slip the entries are either handwritten or typed now it is possible to add insert new slips in their appropriate places without disturbing the ex existing order of arrangement of entries and it is also possible to remove entries for specific documents in case such documents are withdrawn from the library stock roughly each volume of a sheaf catalog may contain about 500 to 600 leaves it has some advantages first one is it is adjustable and portable which makes is it easy to consult from any part of the library its flexible nature renders it convenient to insert or delete entries as and when required it can be kept updated without much difficulty it is more compact and occupies less space it combines certain advantages of book form catalog like portability familiarity and certain good features of card catalog like up to dateness infinite expanding capacity and freedom of manipulation of entries it is possible to bring like entries together for example books by the same author and on the specific topic can be grouped together it is easy to consult and refer inside and outside the library it is also economical to produce and it can be kept in a small wooden steel rack thereby occupying less space due to its compact nature especially in case of a mobile library collection may be entered in a sheaf catalog and it can be carried in a van duplicate entries can be made easily there are some disadvantages related to the sheaf form also since the size of slip is 7 by 4 inches approximately the particulars of one document may be recorded resulting into wastage of space if details pertaining to more than one document are entered on a single slip it becomes necessary to rewrite the entire page again this situation results in loss of time and labor on the part of the library staff libraries using sheaf catalog cannot participate in any co cooperative cataloging scheme or use facilities using uh, such as distribution of unit cards to minimize their cataloging work the catalog has to be consulted in the library premises only and it is not possible to bring out multiple copies of this catalog loss of slips means a new slip generation which is time consuming the entries be stuck off as and when the relevant document is lost damaged or withdrawn otherwise again the whole slip is to be rewritten or retyped on the entire page the filing and fixing of sheaves into leaf bind leaf binder is a time consuming and tedious process as it involves unlocking and locking time and again 
Hence, it creates problems in proper maintenance of the catalog. Those libraries that follow this catalog cannot conveniently participate in any cooperative venture, as I have already told you. Now, the last form, physical form, is card form. The, the non flexibility problem faced by the previous physical forms of the catalog was gravely felt. In order to irrigate it fully, stiff paper cards of the dimension 12.5 into 7.5 cm size and of 0.25 mm thickness were used to prepare different catalog entries. One card is used for every individual entry, main or added. The card has a small hole in its lower part so that each card can be inserted into a steel rod. The cards held together by the steel rod are arranged as per the desired sequence in the wooden trays just like author, sequence, title or subject. The wooden trays are then placed in the pigeon holes of the catalog cabinet. Each tray on its outer face is marked by an appropriate label in alphabetical or classified sequence. The sequence in which the cards are arranged inside. Entries for newly coming books can be accommodated at proper places. It does not require frequent revisions and it is economical to keep it up to date. Moreover, it can be used by more than one user simultaneously. Each user can use one or the other tray at a particular time. Its use is not subject to the availability of electricity or another, another uh, machinery fault. However, such catalog is voluminous and lacks portability. Generally, it is said that to browse the card is more cumber cumbersome than the book or sheet form of the catalog. Library catalog in the card form is by far the most popular physical form. In this form, the bibliographical elements of every document are recorded on a single card. This method of representing every document on a single card is known as the unit card principle. These cards stand in card trays or cabinets with a punched hole of about half a centimeter from the bottom for inserting a locking no rod. This locking system keeps the cards from falling out and also prevents unauthorized persons from removing any card from the tray. Because of its wide, wide usage all over the world, many aspects pertaining to the card catalog were standardized. For example, 12.5 into 7.6 cm is the universally adopted size for a catalog card. Similarly, the sizes of cabinets, trays for a catalog card are all of uniform standard. Consequently, most of these items of furniture could be obtained readily from commercial vendors since they are of standard size. The unit card principle that came up with the card catalog has enabled the growth of centralized and cooperative cataloging. Cataloging in publication can also be traced to this development era. There are several advantages related to the card form. First one is it is flexible in keeping it constantly updated. The users and the library staff can handle it very easily. The cards are single, self-contained units. This feature permits additional approach points and cross-references in the catalog. The libraries using the card catalog can participate in central and cooperative cataloging schemes. This reduces the burden of the staff. Sure. It is flexible in keeping it constantly updated with the quality of expansion and withdrawal of entries. It, the users and the library staff can handle it with ease. It was possible to bring together entries with the same heading. The cards are single self-contained units. This feature permits additional approach points and cross-references in the catalog for the users. The entries for lost books can be withdrawn and like entries can be filed together. Similarly, the library using the card catalog can participate in cooperative and central cataloging schemes which reduces the burden of the staff and saves cost. The cards are hard and tough, so its durability is longer than that of other catalogs. But there are some disadvantages also related with the card form. The card catalog occupies large space in libraries. The problem of space is very acute in large libraries located especially in metropolitan cities or big cities. Libraries is a massive collection turning into lakhs of documents with an annual addition of about 10,000 volumes would need enormous space for its card catalog. 
the cost of space is prohibitive in metropolitan cities and or other big cities and this has been a deterrent against continuing with the card catalog in such libraries. Second disadvantage is the growth and complexity associated with the card catalog call for greater maintenance cost. Due to inherent defects associated with the structure of a card catalog, it is possible for a single user to monopolize a considerable amount number of trays at a time, precluding its use simultaneously by other users. Second disadvantage is not portable and hence the users has to go to the library for consulting it. This naturally leads to wastage of time, particularly if the library does not possess the documents of his interest. Last disadvantage is speed of search is slower as compared with book form and she form of catalog. So students, now I am concluding my today's lecture about physical forms of the catalog, the conventional forms. The library catalog is an indispensable tool of the library. Therefore, whatever physical form of a catalog you are using or you are going to use, it should have the following features. First one, it must be easy to use by the users. It must be easy to keep up to date. It should enable browsing or scanning over a number of entries at a time, thereby saving the time of the user. Multiple copies must be easily produced at a low cost. It must occupy as little space as possible. And lastly, it should provide multiple access points to the users. So, students, that's all in my today's lecture about physical forms of the catalog, the conventional ones. I will soon come back to you with another interesting topic such as physical forms of the library catalog, non-conventional ones. Till then, goodbye. Have a nice day. Thank you.